The University of Tennessee Medical Center is the only academic medical center in this region, and it is our mission to serve this community through healing, education, and discovery. At the University of Tennessee Medical Center, our physician teams are at the forefront of medical knowledge. With that knowledge, the following health education video was created to give you information that can assist in making better healthcare decisions for you and your family. Why is controlling my blood pressure so important? Controlling blood pressure is very important, not so much because of the symptoms that are associated with it, but because of the potential consequences it can cause. High blood pressure is often referred to as the silent killer because it doesn't really produce much in terms of symptoms unless things have gotten very much out of hand. Uh, that being said, it's also probably the most prevalent risk factor for heart disease and stroke in the United States today. Um, somewhere around 30 to 40 percent of adults in this country right now have high blood pressure and that number goes up when you start looking at adults over the age of 50. Um, beyond the natural aging of the population in that category, uh, high blood pressure is the only other more prevalent uh, risk factor for developing ischemic heart disease or stroke. What else is high blood pressure associated with? High blood pressure is also associated with a higher risk of damage to other organ systems, uh, predominantly the eyes and the kidneys. Uh, it's a leading cause of kidney failure to the point of requiring dialysis, and combined with diabetes, it's also a very uh, prevalent cause of blindness. Um, again, because blood pressure itself, or high blood pressure itself, does not uh, cause any symptoms, it's uh, quite common to go undiagnosed, so it's very important for patients to be uh, proactive in having their blood pressure monitored or screened by a primary care provider or by a cardiologist uh, to determine whether they're in this high-risk group. Uh, treatments uh, are available for high blood pressure uh, and there are more available now than have ever been available before. Uh, there are uh, literally dozens of different medications to treat high blood pressure and to do so with minimal side effects and lasting impact to try to reduce the likelihood of heart attack and stroke. How often should I monitor my blood pressure? In terms of trying to find out whether you have a problem with high blood pressure in the first place, an annual screening blood pressure with your primary care physician is a very reasonable way to go about doing that. Uh, if you've been diagnosed as having hypertension, it's very uh, typical to have that monitored at least two or three times a year, either with a specialist or with your primary care provider to not only monitor for changes in the degree of high blood pressure that you have, but also to follow up on any potential side effects of medications and any need to change the uh, medication for effect. How can I limit my risk of high blood pressure? Patients can try to limit their risk of developing high blood pressure by a variety of behaviors. Uh, first, regular exercise is probably the best way to keep blood pressure in normal levels and then to bring high blood pressure down. Uh, in addition to that, a lot of the foods we eat tend to have a lot of salts and other additives for preservative uh, effect, and those salts and preservatives tend to uh, manifest as high blood pressure in the body. So it's important to try to limit the amount of, of salted and processed foods in your diet. Uh, in combination with the uh, exercise uh, program that would be most effective to try to reduce blood pressure and keep it at normal healthy levels. What is a normal blood pressure? Normal blood pressure is defined as a top number or systolic number uh, in the 120s or less and a bottom number or diastolic number in the 70s or less. There is a category called pre-hypertension, uh, which is the 130 to 140 range for the top number and the 80 to 90 range uh, in the, uh, on the diastolic. And then anything above 140 or above 90 is considered stage 1 hypertension or the first uh, stage of high blood pressure. We hope you have found this information beneficial and will join us again for another medical moment. For more health-related information or for services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center, visit our website at utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970.